Hey y'all, it's Dawn's Press-Ons with our very first Tutorial Tuesday video. Today, I'm going to show you how to measure nails for press-ons. And I'm going to use my mannequin hand here. Um, she's my little old standard. She's been with me since COVID when I first learned how to do nails. And uh, she's beaten up and battered, but she's mine. And uh, she still works, so we're going to use her today. Um, before we get started, let's talk about a few tips. The first tip is to measure in millimeters. On your ruler, you'll have the standard English measurements, and then you'll have your centimeter side. And this will be the side that we want to use um, to measure in millimeters. The second tip is to use the widest part of your finger. So on <laughs> ink. It won't come off. It's down deep in that skin there, and it won't come off. It's ink, not blood. Okay. Um, but we're going to use the widest part of our finger. Now, on me, that would be like right here to uh, rotate, rotate right there. Okay. So this would be the widest part of my finger, and we would go across the nail. Okay. Um, the third tip is to be very accurate. The more accurate you are um, in measuring, the closer we can get to finding you the right size nail to fit your finger and the less adjustments you'll have to make when you get your nails, okay? So there's two methods we can use. One is a string method, and for the string method, you're going to use string, not yarn. Yarn stretches and string doesn't have a lot of give to it. So you're just going to use plain old string. Doesn't matter what color. Any string will do. You just really need a two to three inch piece of it. I use four because better is more. Um, and then you'll need tape. Um, and you want to use like scotch tape or gift tape. Not uh, washi tape or anything that stretches. You want, again, this needs to be a uh, non-giving. So we want to use tape. You need a marking utensil that has a point on it, not like a, a Sharpie or something like that, or a marker. You want to use something that's got a, a nice tip on it for a fine point, and um, maybe some scissors and a piece of paper. All right, so for the string method, we're going to take that string, and I think this is a little hard to do on yourself. It's easier if somebody's doing this for you, but on yourself, I find this a little hard. All right, let's see. Can we see this guy? Huh. Let me try to adjust her real quick. Let me push her back. Go back. All right, are we better? Are we more in the center here? Hmm, maybe I can slide you guys forward. Let's slide you guys forward. And that'll move her back. Did that move her back a little bit? Okay. She's back a little farther. Okay, so we're going to take our string and wrap it across the widest part of the nail, nice and tight. And then make a, let me see if I can rotate her. We're going to make a dot on this side, just on that string. Come on, mark the string. There we go. And then on the other side, just mark that string. Good. I've got marks on my string. Now we're going to take that string, lay it across our paper. And I don't know if you guys can see those marks. Once I tape this down, we want to tape that string in place so that it's nice and tight. And that there's not any give in between. Let me get remove that spool of thread there. All right, let's make this nice and tight so that there's no give in it. Good. Tape that string down on my paper. I'll bring this paper up for y'all to see. Can you see my little lines there and there? We're going to measure on the inside of those dots. So I'm going to take my little centimeter ruler here. Let me move her away. Take my little centimeter ruler here and measure in between those two lines. So at the one mark is 10, 11, 12, 13. So we're at 13 millimeters. So that pinky is 13 millimeters. And you would want to write down all your measurements, okay? You'll have your pinky, your ring finger, your middle finger, 
your index, and your thumb. And that would be for your right hand. And then you would do the same for the left hand. You would have your pinky, ring, middle, index, and thumb. And you would have all these listed in millimeters. Okay? And once you have your measurements, you would enter them into the computer in the order section, and then we would translate those into sizes. All right, so let's talk about the other method real quick. The other method I find easier if you're working on yourself. Again, let's use this little pinky nail here. So we're going to take a piece of tape, and you want to take the edge of the tape and put it on the whitest part on the nail. So... We're gonna put that right across the nail like that, nice and tight so that there's no wrinkles in it. And then we're gonna make a dot on this side. And let me rotate her, a dot on this side. And then remove the tape. Get her out of the way again. Put this down on your paper, and we want to measure between the two dots, not on the two dots, but between the two dots, using the centimeter side. So again, we've got 10, 11, 12, 13. We're at 13, and I know using my chart that a prey gives us that a 13 is a size 4. So, all the nails have a number impressed in them. Now, you guys can't see these numbers. I've tried to show it, but they don't show up no matter what I do. So, anyway, there's a four on here. And if I had this nail prepped accurately so that the cuticle was gone, this is way too long. It needs to be much, much shorter. These uh, little tips that they give you are, are they're just not really useful for much. Um, but for purposes of measuring, it would go on right like that, and that would be the nail that would fit this finger. So you would, again, input all that in the order information, input your millimeter measurements into the order, and we would translate that into the size and know exactly what nails to send you. All right? Well, thank you all very much for joining us today.